Hey guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So we are back in my living room which means we are back with another tutorial. This week's video is going to be focused on leg flexibility to help you guys maintain or improve your oversplits. So what I'm going to be using for this workout is a ball along with an elastic of some sort. Um, you don't necessarily need these but they will help you for some of the exercises. And just a quick note before we start, my back is already warmed up, so you should definitely warm up your back before starting this workout. I did post a 20 minute back warm up a couple weeks ago, so if you want to go pause the video here, do that workout and come back to this one, be much appreciated. And again, just be careful when you're doing these exercises, don't push yourself through pain, and really just go at your own pace. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're going to start off sitting on the floor, you're going to be on your elbows here, your legs straight out. So we're just going to do four circles with our legs. So you're going to take your right leg, circle up, and back down. So we're going to do four of those in that direction, and then we're going to switch in the other direction. So we're going to do four times on each leg, and we're going to do four times on each leg, and we're going to do four times on each leg, and we're going to do four times on each leg. position and you're gonna need the ball for this one if you have it if not um, don't worry about it you don't necessarily need it but it will be helpful for the next few exercises so the ball's gonna be sort of underneath your shin here as you come into a half split position the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna have our arms up and hold for eight seconds and then we're gonna slowly arch back and come up four times so starting from this position balls behind you your arms up and we're gonna hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slowly arch back. One and up. Two and up. Three and up. Four and up. And you're gonna come off the ball, bend your knee, and try to bring it. You grab your hand and bring it towards you. Go here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're just going to stretch it out the opposite way. Like this into this position and just lean forward and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, coming up, we're going to do all that on the other side now. So now the ball is going to be under your right shin and you're going to be doing your left leg in this half split position. So again, arms up for 8 seconds, arching back, pull your leg towards you and stretch out the other way. So when you guys are ready, come up. In 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now arch back as far as you can. One, two, three, and four. Bend your knee, bring it towards you. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now stretch out the other way. For one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. Now coming up, you're gonna go back to your right leg. You're gonna come into a split position. Again, using the ball for this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce the ball, and as we do that, we're gonna lean forward, bounce it till it's over our foot, and take it with the other hand and bounce back. So we're gonna do that a few times on each side, and then we'll continue from there. So starting with the ball in your right hand, we're going to start bouncing all the way forward and switch hands and from left to right now. And 
back again, to the left side, and to the right. Two more times. To the right now. Try to keep the ball bouncing the entire time. Last time going to the left side. And last time to the right side. Good. So now staying in this position, you're just going to put the ball aside and arch back as far as you can. And we're going to hold there for 8 seconds. If you can grab your leg, then grab your leg. If not, just keep your arms inside and arch back as much as you can. So when you guys are ready, arching back. Pull for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Good, now just lean forward and relax your back. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're just gonna repeat that same set of exercises. Oops, my ball. We're gonna repeat the same set of exercises on the left side. So coming into a split position here, we're gonna do the bounces. Ball is in your left hand, so when you guys are ready, Let's start. Bouncing all the way forward to your right hand. And to the left side. Back with your left hand. Back to the right. All the way over your foot. And back to the left. To the right. And to the left. Last time. To the right. Back. And to the left. Okay, now we're going to go arch back as far as you can. Remember, you can leave your arms out or you can go and grab your leg. Ready? Arch back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now just lean forward. Stay there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So for this one, your right leg is gonna be out. The ball is gonna be balancing behind your neck. Your arms are gonna be out. And you're gonna slide forward slowly into split with the ball still balancing. You're gonna arch back, continue grabbing the ball, and just stay in this arching position for a few seconds. Then cut back forward. You can bring your arms down as you slide back into the starting position. Okay, so we're gonna do that four times on each side, and then we'll move on. So again, balls balancing here. We're gonna start. Slide down, two, three, four, arch back, five, six, seven, eight, come back for one, two, three, four, and slide back, five, six, seven, eight. And let's repeat that again. One, two, three, four, arch, five, six, seven, eight. Come back for one, two, three, four, and hands down, five, six, seven, eight. And slide for one, two, three, four. If you need to use your hands, that's okay. Let's try to get into this arching position back and slide back and last one slide down for one two three four arch back for five six seven eight come back two three four and slide back six seven eight good You're just going to come into middle splits, and for now, we're just going to lean forward and stretch our middle splits there. So just coming forward like this, you're going to stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to bend your legs so you're in this sort of frog position. You're going to grab the ball. Again, you don't necessarily need the ball for this, but the ball will help you. So the ball's in my left hand and I'm going under my right arm, leaning over to the right side, and I'm gonna take the ball with my right hand, 
and just lift it up and bring it as far to the left side as I can. So we're going to do that eight times, starting on the right side. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now coming onto the other side, again you're going to go from your right hand under your left arm to the left side and then grab the ball with your left hand. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You really want to try to go as close as you can to the floor with that one. Okay, coming out of this position, we're going to move on to some kicks now on the floor. So we can put your ball aside and we're going to need our elastic for this one. Well, you won't necessarily need it, but again, it will help you. So just putting your feet on the ends of the elastic, we're going to do some kicks. So starting with front kicks, we're just going to do eight kicks. You're going to grab your leg and hold for eight counts, and then you're going to let go of the leg and do eight pulses towards your head. So lying down on your back, again starting with the right leg, front kicks. Ready? And one, two, three, four, try to reach the ground, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your leg and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna let go and pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, bring your legs together, and we're just gonna repeat all of that on the left leg. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, grab your leg and pull it towards the floor for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let go and pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Legs together. You're gonna come onto your left side now so that your right leg will be kicking. So same thing, eight kicks, eight seconds holding, and eight pulses. When you guys are ready, we'll go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your leg and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let go and pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring your legs together. We're gonna go over to our right side so that we can do left leg kicks. So same thing here. And we'll start with eight kicks. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your leg and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring your legs together. We're gonna do kicks on the back. Here we're just gonna do eight kicks on each leg. So your body's gonna stay in this position and just your leg is moving. Starting with our right leg, we're gonna kick for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now the left leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we are going to come onto our backs and just do some uh, kicks in middle splits. So if you have an elastic, what you can do is open your legs and bring the elastic around you so that it's underneath you. Then you're just gonna bring your legs up and we're gonna drop our legs in middle splits eight times. 
Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, now just come out of that position. So now we're gonna grab our chairs and we're gonna do some over splits. Okay, so I've got my chairs here and we're gonna do some over splits. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna do six different positions. So three on the left, three on the right. And each of them we're gonna be holding for a minute and a half. For the first minute, you can be doing whatever you want. You can have your hands down. And then for the last 30 seconds, we're gonna have either our arms up or we're gonna be arching back. So we're gonna start with just having a single front leg on the top of the chair or wherever level is comfortable for you. Um, I'm gonna have my ball next to me just so we can do some uh, manipulations with the ball as we are lifting our arms up. Okay, so I've got my timer here and we're gonna start. So when you guys are ready, bring your leg up onto the chair and we'll start. We're gonna be holding this position for one minute and then for the last 30 seconds, our arms are gonna be up. Um, but to make this more interesting, you can do some different manipulations with the ball. So I'll just show you a few now. You can do rolls with the ball, back and forth or you can toss the ball back and forth, whichever one you would rather do, or you can grab your clubs and you can do some manipulations, some just rotations here, you can do some mills, you can do some flips, but for this one, I'm just going to do some rolls with the ball. So staying here for another 20 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and do those. Now and bring your arms up. I'm just gonna do some rolls back and forth. Oops. This way, you can help improve your flexibility in your apparatus manipulation or coordination at the same time. Just a few more seconds. And we are done. Good job guys, so that is everything for the follow along part of this tutorial. Now I'm just going to show you some other stretches and exercises that I like to do to help maintain my oversplits. And I'm just going to fast forward through this a bit because some of them are similar to ones we've already done. I don't want to hold you guys for any longer, so let's just get on with some more exercises.
So that is all for this workout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Hopefully you found some exercises that you liked or that you found particularly helpful that you can implement into your daily warm-up. My best tip for improving your leg flexibility is consistency. Just doing these exercises once isn't going to help you, but if you continue to do them on a regular basis, you will see results over time. So just keep working hard and be consistent with your workout, and I promise you, you will see the results you want over time and with hard work. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've got some really fun videos planned for the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. I'm really, really excited for those, so I hope you guys will enjoy it too. So until then, see you in the next video. Bye!